Welcome to Good Food. Today we're making sweet dough and we're going to show you how to do that. When you get the sweet dough done, you can make all of these scrumptious desserts from it. The links for these scrumptious desserts, the videos themselves, will be in the description box below. Now for the sweet dough, in my bowl I have six cups of all-purpose flour. So um, to that I've added three teaspoons of kosher salt. You can add whatever salt you like. Just remember that uh, kosher salt is not as salty as table salt. Now to that I'm going to add about uh, two-thirds of a stick of butter. Three-fourths is fine, whatever you like. I might add more. And I'm just going to blend the butter up just so that it's mixed in well with the flour and to that to that mixture while it's blending I'm going to add a tablespoon and a half of lecithin. Lecithin is a natural uh, made from egg yolks or soy um, emulsifier. Um, it will help keep the bread fresher or rolls in this case, it will help keep them fresher longer. It also helps with the taste and texture of the bread. So, and it, and it acts as a preservative. That's why it keeps it fresher a little longer. So I'm gonna add a tablespoon and a half. You can get it in liquid form, or you can get it in um, granules, which is what I have. Um, so we're getting that going. This is a quarter cup of sugar. I'm adding that now. Is that powdered sugar? It's granular sugar. Just regular sugar. I use organic. It doesn't matter. Use what you have. I also have a teaspoon of freshly grated nutmeg. I always have a little flour standing by in case my dough's a little wet. You know how flour works. Um, Bob, can you get me a spatula, please? I forgot to get one. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean, as Julia Child would say. I'm just since I didn't have yet, thank you baby. Next time I'm prepared. <laughs> so it's all blended in. Now to that, this is one cup of tepid water. You can have it to 100 degrees, even a hair over 100 degrees, but I like to have it blood warm. I'm going to add that. It also it has three teaspoons in here. Uh, active yeast. I use rapid, like what you would use for a bread machine. Use what you have. There's three teaspoons of yeast and two tablespoons of sugar. That's additional sugar to the quarter cup. This is a sweet dough, remember. Also, we're going to add two eggs. When you have butter and eggs and milk in a dough, it is called a enriched dough. This is, I had um, the same tepid milk. And it's just, you can use any milk you have. Buttermilk works, it doesn't matter. This is um, fresh, I mean, this, is, this milk is just regular sweet milk. And it's 2% and one cup. Still a little bit, it doesn't matter. So we're gonna just we're gonna just blend this. All you want to do um, is blend it together. Now um, I know a lot of people make their bread with their KitchenAid. Um, I, I do that when I have smaller loaves. A six uh, cup 
recipe, which is what this is, six cups of flour recipe, it um, can break this machine. Um, my husband's had to fix it several times. So if you have that problem with your kitchen A, there's a video that's here that you can click on that will show you how to fix that particular you can put a link in the description box problem. and there's a link in that there will be a link in the description box so this is almost um, combined or incorporated and so we'll give it a little bit more I have it on low never need your bread higher than low on a kitchen aid or any mixer machine mixer because you can easily go mix it too much when you do that. And I hope I'm coming through. The recipe will be in the description box as well so you don't have to rush and get all the ingredients. Write them down. It will be down there. So I'm going to just give it a little hand kneading. I'm just getting it well incorporated. Like this. Not very much kneading at all. I'm going to show you a technique I learned from an Italian fella that's on um, uh, Craftsy. And uh, he has a class in making pizza which is an extremely good class, but he makes his pizza dough this way. And I'm like, well, I wonder how it works because I like the taste in bread. And that's what started me doing it. And I've been doing it. I watched that class a long time ago, years ago. And I've been doing it like this, not every time, but many times, especially with these big loaves. All right, this is the first time. It's gotten a little bit bigger. It's rested some. You it's not ready by a long shot. So I'm going to give it a, another little kneading. You don't even have to knead it that much. <laughs> and I'm going to put the lid back on it and set my timer for five minutes and check it again. I'll come back to you and tell you how many times it took. It varies for me. The pizza guy said four times is all you need, but it doesn't always work out that way. So we'll be back. Okay, this is number five. Nice, let's see. I'm getting a spring back. Springs back pretty good. I've got the window pane, not getting uh, as much tear. That could be just how I pulled it too. But I've got me a nice window pane. You know what? I'm going to do it one more time. I think I'm going to do it one more time. It's not exactly what I want. And I've got time. If you're in a hurry, this isn't the way to go. This is it, but this is the tastiest way to go. So if you have time, you want to do it this way. And it's the easiest. And this will be the last time. It'll be six all together. All right. I think this is the final time. Oh, look at that. Let me make sure you're seeing that. Pick it up and show you. You can't even see where I put my paint finger. And I'm giving a press in, and it comes back so fast. That was a little bit more. So that's perfect. That It passed that test. And you're like, well, you don't have to do both tests. I do both tests. I like to make sure my dough is where it's supposed to be. Look at this. So, 
I got the good window test and you're going to get some breakage. There's some breakage there, but I just don't want it to fall apart where I can't get my window test. And this is nice, nice, nice dough. This is very nice dough. So I'm going to give it a good press it up. Man, it's just very elastic right now. Ooh, it's going to make some good sweet rolls. Okay. I think that's going to be a big, that's a lot of dough. We're going to make four different sweetbreads out of this. If you don't want to make a batch this big, just cut everything in half. That's all you have to do. So I'm going to roll it around in the bottom, turn it up, because I got my, it's got some butter on the bottom and I've got a little bit of butter left on my brush so I'm going to give it a good little brush. I don't want my uh, wax paper to stick to it. I'm going to put my oven on 100 degrees. Once it comes to 100 degrees I'm going to turn the oven off. So this is probably going to take an hour and a half to rise. I'm going to check it in one hour to make sure that it's uh, doubled in size. And you can do the same finger press test um, and everything is the same as far as checking it to make sure that you've got the rise you want. You don't want to over um, rise it because once you do that you mess up your texture. If you, you know, your texture won't be correct. You might have a big, huge, nice loaf or whatever, but your texture won't be right. And so you want to make sure you get it as soon as it's reached that texture. So you check it in an hour, and we'll be back with you then. Okay, it's doubled in size. I'm not getting the bounce back, but that's fine. And I'm just going to break the air bubbles, pop it down. And I'm going to go ahead at this point and divide this dough ball into roughly quarters because I want to make four different buns from it. This is a little smaller than that one. You can weigh it if you want to have it exact. I'm not going to because it doesn't matter. However, this one is a little bigger. So I'm just going to add it to this one. And now I can tell by feel I've got four quarters. So there'll be links in the description box for what I'm going to do with these four wonderful dough quarters. Um, if I can, I'm going to post all four of them right here. But they'll definitely be in the description box. So keep watching.